video, we're going to be taking a look at a used Claude Wolf doll. And this Claude, I think he's from the Monster High Schools Out Claude Wolf and Draculaura 2 pack, I think. I got him used off of eBay and he's not in horrible condition, but he's not in great condition. He's pretty dirty, if you can tell. He just came like this, kind of gross. Um, he is in his outfit. He does have his this cool belt with the cassette tape buckle and his gold and white vest with his white and orange print shirt, his black pants with the diamond pattern. You can see these pants are dirty and the gold boots. He also came wearing his teal colored cap, which I guess he wore it a lot because there's kind of an indent here. So the first step in cleaning up a used doll, and I've shown this before, but this is kind of the dirtiest used doll I've gotten so far. So uh, I was going to go into a little bit more detail in cleaning him up. Plus, I don't want to get his hair wet because of the kind of flocking velvety hair detail on the sides can come off pretty easily if it comes act, comes in contact with any chemicals like alcohol or anything like that and I'm afraid even getting it water saturated might rub it off so I need to be very careful but first step will be taking his clothing off and washing it because again you can see it's kind of dirty I will be putting the black pants in a separate container of soapy water. And again, you've, you've probably seen in my previous video that I do just use like a regular, like, like a Dawn dish soap to wash my doll clothes. Um, but I will keep the black pants separate just in case they bleed. So that will be step one. So the next time we see Claude, he will be unclothed. So I have removed uh, Claude's clothes. And I took out his earring, and you can see that he has a little red dot. I don't know if it's marker or what on his ear, so I'm going to try to clean that off. My tools here today are some rubbing alcohol, Q-tips, a paper towel, a clean, dry rag. This is an old washcloth. A dish of warm, clean water and a dish of warm, soapy water. And this Mr. Clean sponge which I always use, I always wear gloves when I use this at Mr. Clean Eraser Sponge because first of all, uh, it says so on the packaging and also when you look at the ingredients, I believe formaldehyde is part of them. Really don't use these with bare skin. So first thing I'm gonna do is try to get this red mark off of his ear using the Mr. Clean Sponge. Oh, and it came off right away. So no sweat there. And I think that's the only mark he has. The rest looks just like, just dirt. So, let's bring over the soapy water. And we are gonna start cleaning him off. So I clean most of them off with just soap and water. Now I'm wiping them off with the clean rag that's just dipped just in water. Get any soap remnants off. And so far he's been totally fine. It's just the hairline that's gonna be a little bit trickier because I don't want to get his hair wet. I also noticed in taking off his clothes that this Claude does not have articulated wrists. So to get his shirt off, I actually had to take the arm off at the elbow because I could not get the shirt off otherwise. Okay, so now next step is cleaning up the hair. Um, Cause I don't want to get it wet, but I want to get all this dust stuff off. So I think I'm gonna use some masking tape. So this is just a roll of masking tape. And I'm just gonna 
peel some off and put in a roll. Think of this as kind of like a lint brush. And I'm just gonna run it on his flocked hairline to try to get any dust and loose hairs out. So now I'm gonna try to comb his hair out a little bit just to get if it's like dusty. And I'm gonna be, I wanna be gentle here because I don't wanna pull his hair out. It's a little flattened by the hat, by his wearing his hat for so long. So really, I just wanna remove any fuzzies that are stuck to his hair and kind of poof it up just a little bit. So it looks like I got his little sideburn here wet when I was using the masking tape to get the dust off here. I must have accidentally got some moisture from over here that hadn't dried and it transferred to his sideburn and it did take some of it off. Um, it had already come off here when I ha got the doll, which I already knew I had to clean up the hairline because this was already missing. It's also over here was already missing. This was already thin, um, but I kind of made it worse over here. So I'm going to, I think, remove this facial hair here and here and cut back his sideburns. I messed it up, so I'm going to fix it to make it even, and that's the bottom line. But I am going to clean up the hairline around here. I am going to take a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol and just try to rub away the remnants so um, it won't be so noticeable. Just kind of try to clean up around here and also try to get in here to clean the ears because um, they're still a little dirty down here. So I used acetone nail polish remover to remove the damaged sideburns on each side and then wiped his face off with some soapy water and then dried it with the clean rag. And he's definitely clean. I don't mind that I lost the sideburns, but other people might. So you want to be really careful when you're cleaning them that you do not get this kind of flocked felted hair. Don't get that wet because you will lose it. I'm just gonna wait for his clothes to dry. Uh, they have been soaking for a little while. I'm going to rinse them in cool to warm water and let them air dry overnight. I also washed all of his accessories in the warm soapy water and then rinsed them and they are air drying as well. So here is Claude all put back together. His clothing dried overnight, uh, just air dried. And I actually had to use uh, some Fells Naphtha which maybe a lot of you have no idea what that is. That is a laundry soap. It is actual bar of soap. It does wonders for stains. And there was a discoloration stain on the sleeve of this shirt and it totally came out. I also used it on the legs of his pants because I was afraid the dish soap wasn't going to be enough and the stains came out of his pant legs as well. And also it's cool because of his sturdy boots, he can really stand on his own without a doll stand. I do want to point out Claude's articulation. He is articulated at the neck, but as I pointed out earlier, he has no articulation at the wrist, which all of my other male Monster High dolls do. But he does have articulation at the elbow and the shoulder, as well as the hips, knees, and ankles. But all in all, I think he came out great. Meanwhile, I took this Draculaura doll and kind of restyled her so that I could take pictures of them together. This is a Boo York, Boo York Draculaura doll. Uh, the clothing is from two different sources. One, uh, they're both on Etsy, and I will link the videos below where I originally showcased these items. But her accessories, her shoes and her necklace are from a party hair Draculaura. I will also link to that video below in case you wanna see that doll. So I gave her a more detailed outfit. So she's got these, they're actually thigh high stockings. Uh, this little cute skirt, it's pleated with some gold faux button detail here. I think the boots go really well. The crop top, 
the necklace, and I also gave her earrings, which I will show you how I did that right now. From taking a pin from my sewing box, one with a little black ball on the end, and there's already an impression in her ear of where the earring should go, but the hole wasn't really made, so I'm just gonna stick the pin in to make a hole, but it's really long, so I'm gonna cut the pin with some really sturdy scissors, like about in half, right about there. And then I put it in her ear. And now she has little earrings. I also featured this doll in a hair fixing video where I was testing different methods and I originally used baby powder on her hair, but the glue seepage continued and the baby powder wasn't enough, so I ended up using Goo Gone in this doll and then washing it several times and her hair is just silky smooth now. It really turned out great. So now I feel like my restyled Draculara and my cleaned up secondhand Claude look more like a couple. You have to admit, these two are super cute together. Mm -hmm.